Hey, beautiful people. I wanted to show y'all how I do this eye look with this palette. And um, if that's something that you are interested in seeing, just stay tuned because I'm going to show you how I do all of it. All right. So. Hey, beautiful people. Today, I thought I would just record myself getting ready. Um, at the moment, I am taking some of this Marc Jacobs primer. I said I would try it. And the touch of water cream, and I'm putting it on my face right now. I said I would try it, so I'm trying it. Put some of those here, and some of those here. I thought I would try to mix them up because honestly, this Marc Jacobs stuff kind of feels weird. It does. It doesn't feel like a primer I'm used to. My birds are on one today. Okay, and now I just tried to put some of this, the marshmallow primer. I just wanted to try it. And honestly, I don't see what the big deal is about it. Like what? It smells like marshmallows and it feels sticky on your face. I don't know. But I just wanted to put enough primer on my face that, you know, it would feel better. So I was I read an article and um, it said that a lot of the makeup I use is tested on animals in China and I'm really like upset about it. I really am because like they say that one of them is Victoria's Secret and that's all I wear is pink. That's all I wear and as an animal lover I don't know what to think. Also NARS was on here and I don't know, like, I'm, I'm gonna do a lot more research, but it's like, I paid a lot of money for this stuff, you know, and why are you testing stuff on animals? Like, it makes no sense. Why? Like, there's no reason for that. So, right, I was gonna, I wanted to show y'all how I do the multicolor eye looks. They're a lot easier than you think. So I'm going to get on there and I'm going to do that. I'm getting ready to actually go to the mall. I've got to take some shorts back to Victoria's Secret. It has nothing to do with the um, animal thing. But um, I got a pair of shorts from them. And they were absolutely huge. And it's really hard to figure out what size you wear with Victoria's Secret. Because each different um, type of outfit that they have. You know where it's like loungewear, boyfriend, different things like that. They're all different. So you have to like basically buy some, put them on, try them, and then take them back. Because they're like two sizes too big. Yeah, it was that big, so that's what I'm doing today. But I just wanted to show y'all how I get ready. Alright, I'm probably going to fast forward through all this real quick until I get to the eye thing, so don't mind me.
Okay, so um, I'm using Vizart eyeshadow primer. Um, you cannot put any of these shadows on just about anymore without using some sort of eyeshadow primer. So that's what I'm putting on right now, and I'm rubbing it in really good and making sure that it's in really well. Sorry, like, I forgot to say anything. I forgot that, like, I was, what I was doing, I think, for a moment. I'm just kind of an airhead. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, and right here, I'm using, like, a clear gloss. It's kind of got glitter in it. It's kind of a sticky. So, when I mix that with the Vizart, it really makes it stay on really good. I kind of, like, rub it in really good because you don't want too much on it or it's not going to stay on right. It'll just, like, look clumpy and patchy. So, you want to smooth that out with your finger. I always use my ring finger because it doesn't really leave lines and it's not too harsh. But do what you want. <laughs> And that is the Purple Haze Palette by Cara Beauty, and I really love it. It's pretty bomb. absolutely love it. I recommend it. It has a lot of pretty colors on it. This is how, only way that I do this look. It's the best palette, like, for multi-colors. It's not ColourPop that I found in a long time. I'm like wetting my brush and trying to get um, a little bit wet using my setting spray so I can pick up the eyeshadow better. It's honestly a good way to get that brighter color if, if you just wet your brush just a little bit not sopping wet make sure you dry it off and it'll make your colors more vibrant Alright, so I'm on the yellow and I did wet the brush a little bit and try to dry it off a little bit and get the yellow I want. I'm going to make this blend into an orange. I'm going to do if I can get that on it right. Now I'm using an orange, and I'm actually just making a line, use different brushes each time. There's no point in wiping it off each time, just use a different brush. And you want to kind of blend that yellow in with the orange. See?
And all I used was an eyeshadow primer, some glittery gloss. You can use um, any primer you have, but you just want to make sure the colors stay on really good. And then blend. And you could even do purple on the end if you wanted to. I haven't decided if I'm going to or not. I might just put a little bit. And you actually want to go over top of the color you already used so you can blend it. Alright. <clears throat> now you want to go and do the same colors up underneath. This is where I take some um, setting spray and then get like a little thing like this, get it wet, turn it off a little bit, and then go into your colors. Start with the lightest colors because they're going to be the easiest to transition to. Say so just wipe it off on your rag. Go into your orange. Your pink and then your purple.
And I always go back over it with the colors that I use to make sure they are good and filled in. And that they are blended good. And then I usually try to take like a wider color or like, um, mm, this will probably work. Use this white right here. Put my fingers. Alright, <clears throat> I'm about to do eyelashes and eyeliner. Alright, lashes are on. I'm about to go fix my hair and I will show you the finished look when I come back. Alright, so this is the finished look. 
I'll probably put like um, a lip liner or like a gloss on, but I'm loving it. I'm ready to go. And I hope that everybody has a wonderful day. All right. Make every day beautiful. Love you. Peace.